Dear friends, I'm sharing with you today from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8, which reads, Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Perhaps you've heard this verse before. It's a verse for our consideration today, and it points out to us that today, as much as ever, is a day for us to earnestly love other people. This is not a verse in which God is saying that if we love people well, if we work really hard at it, that we'll get our sins forgiven. That would be a works righteousness way of looking at this verse. We know that Jesus, in his love for us, covers all of our sins, forgives us completely and fully. His love does indeed bring us forgiveness. But this is a passage in which God is calling us to love others earnestly, and that when we love other people, that means that we're willing to overlook the shortcomings of others, to bear with them, to forgive them when they fall short, and to demonstrate this in the way that we speak to them, in the way that we interact with them. And so God is calling us to do essentially what Jesus does in his earth earthly ministry, which is to love our neighbor as ourselves. When we do that, we are loving others earnestly. We are willing to overlook their many faults, just as we would want others to overlook our many faults and love us all the same. So I encourage you today to look for ways to do that practically, to be patient with each other. There's a lot of stress nowadays as we continue in this time of pandemic, as we continue through a time in our country and world where there is a lot of unrest, where racism seems to be resurging, and things are just difficult. What a great time for God's people to look for ways to really love others in practical and meaningful ways. God bless you as you ponder these words. I pray that you will let them really sink in and that you will take them to heart. Let's pray. God, we thank you for this word. We thank you for the love that we experience from you, that in Jesus, your son, our sins are covered completely. We have full forgiveness in him. We thank you for that, Lord. We pray that in response to that love that you have for us, that we would live lives in which we love others earnestly, in which we overlook the faults of others, and, and that by your grace, we would have people around us who likewise overlook our faults. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and your kindness to us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Good to be with you, friends. Please join me again.